group of MU students is headed to Texas Saturday to take part in a cross-country race. When they get there, they won't have to use any gas. KOMU 8's Madison Marcola reports the MU car is running entirely on hydrogen. Garrett Bentley has been here since the beginning. He's put in countless hours of research and construction and has struggled through all of the rebuilding and failures. I've already graduated, so I haven't started work yet uh, so that I can help finish this car and go on the race. So it's something I've been looking forward to for a long time. A long time is right, three years to be exact. That's how long the Mizzou Hydrogen Car Team has worked on its creation. And no wonder it took so long. The powering process is very complicated, but here's a simplified version. Hydrogen flows through tubes into the fuel cell box, where it mixes with oxygen, creating water and electricity. That electricity is sent to the converter, where it's amped up even more before it reaches the motor, which is on the back right tire of the car. The team is hurrying to finish up in time for the North American Solar Challenge. The race is two weeks long and it goes from Dallas, Texas, all the way up to Calgary in Canada. Even though they leave Saturday, there is still work to do. We've been pulling some pretty late nights. Uh, a couple days ago we left at 5 in the morning, last night we left at 4 in the morning. Today will probably be about the same. Uh, there's a lot of little things that have to be done in order to get big things done. Madison Marcola, KOMU 8 News, Columbia. Now the race starts July 13th, but here's the kicker. Mizzou can't win as a hydrogen car. It entered for demonstration purposes only. For links to the team's website, a map of the race, log on to our website at KOMU.com.